Thanks for that, Curtis. And Carroll College is doing something new. Thanks to a partnership with Lewis and Clark County, the City of Helena, and the City of East Helena, Carroll College started surveillance testing for COVID-19 in wastewater. MTN's John Riley reports. Understanding the full extent of COVID in any given area has been an ongoing challenge for health departments across the nation. The new wastewater surveillance by Carroll will help Lewis and Clark Public Health track the rise and fall of coronavirus in Helena and East Helena. Public Health had been relying on diagnostic testing to track COVID prevalence, but that doesn't show a full picture. Unlike someone making a decision, you know, to go and get it tested for COVID-19, we all use the toilet, right? So really what we're looking at here in this way, testing of wastewater provides a true population indicator. If it's there, we have sick people in our community. We know that. The county had used a national company earlier this year for wastewater testing, but results were taking weeks or more to come back, which isn't beneficial. Carol gets their samples on Wednesday and provides results on Friday of that week. Associate Professor of Biology Stephanie Otto Hitt says they've been looking for ways to help the community since COVID first appeared in the state and are thrilled they could provide this service. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd be in this situation, but it just feels really good to be able to use the skills and tools we have here at Carroll to contribute something to this, this difficult time that everyone's experiencing. So um, even back in March when it started, we really wanted to get up on the diagnostic testing. When this opportunity came along, it was just like, yes, you know, we want to be involved and we want to be useful to the community. Early results of samples taken have shown a correlation between higher concentrations of the virus and wastewater and the number of cases in the cities of Helena and East Helena. Testing is funded through the end of the year through CARES Act dollars. However, public health would like to continue that testing into the future due to the valuable information they can gain from that testing. Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News. Well, Great Falls police are investigating after an infant died at an unlicensed daycare over the weekend. As MTN's Coulter Anstad explains, one local organization is trying to educate people, especially parents, about how to choose the right childcare. 